Dale Larson here at the photo booth with today's P.O. Box pickups and a few recent acquisitions. Uh, first, we're going to go right here to Colton from Anniston, Alabama. Uh, Colton was nice enough uh, to send me in a couple of Build-A-Figure pieces, sent in the arms, I think. If I'm not mistaken, the arms came with Prince Namor, uh, almost naked Namor, as he's called now. Uh, I didn't pick him up yet. I, I keep going back and forth on that one. And now that I have the arms, I'm probably never going to buy it. Uh, and I think all I'm missing from that wave is Killmonger, which would give me the left leg. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, after that, we got Mark from Alston, Mass. Sent in the Cull Obsidian head. Uh, off the top of my head, I don't remember who the head came with. Uh, oh, the only piece I have is uh, maybe a leg. I think I have a leg from uh, from Black Knight. Uh, and maybe one or two other pieces. I can't remember off the top of my head. I did just put up that Build-A-Figure video. Uh, we did just post that two weeks ago, and I already forgot which pieces I have. Sorry about that. Uh, up next is uh, Andrew from Carmel, New York. Andrew sent in a few things in uh, recent videos, uh, but uh, today he has sent in... Look, I don't know a lot about this stuff. I don't know a lot about army ants. This is a thing that uh, happened at some point... Um, I honestly don't know if this was a 90s thing or if this was the early 2000s. Uh, I didn't look it up before starting this today. Uh, but Andrew's interested in them. <laughs> uh, I wanted to make sure that this was a, a thing that uh, I had seen. Uh, and, you know, hey, maybe it's a, a subject that we'll uh, tackle at some point. But uh, I know about guts. I don't know much about army ants. There's a bunch of orange ones over here, a bunch of blue ones over here. I don't know if they're factions. Uh, they each seem to have a specialization. Uh, as far as what what uh, what they do for their respective teams, uh, but that's those. And you know, like I said, I've heard of them before. I've seen them before. Usually, they're just sort of at the bottom of like you know quarter bins or dollar bins at the flea market, uh, and that's it. I don't remember a cartoon. I don't remember a commercial. I really don't remember much about them. Uh, so that's something we're going to look into in the future. Don't hold your breath on that. It's probably way down the line. Uh, Brady from Denver, Colorado, sent in uh, some. Also, this is the theme for today. Sent in some Build-A-Figure parts. Uh, I did send me in a Quai head. Unfortunately, that is a duplicate. Uh, so I'll have to hold on to that one for uh, trade bait or something. Uh, and then uh, also, on top of that, we've got a Warlock body, which is great. Uh, because I do have uh, Warlock arms, a leg, and a head. So that piece is almost complete now. Um, all I'm missing is the l right leg. Yeah, right leg. Because that one goes there. Uh, and I'm not sure. I don't. I don't remember who was in this wave. I think. I know I was missing uh, Sunfire and Polaris, I believe. Uh, so that that uh, that torso had to have come with one of them, and the other one's got the leg. So I will probably the next time I see uh, whoever's got the leg, I'll probably just go ahead and buy it now that I'm this close to it. Just for whatever reason, those two figures just really didn't appeal to me. And now I'm getting a sense of how tall this guy really is. And that is fantastic. Uh, I've seen a lot of the very positive glowing reviews for the quality of this build a figure, kind of a throwback piece almost. Uh, and I am now inclined to agree with that assessment of this piece. He's looking good. Very cool. Looking forward to getting that leg. Uh, also in that batch of stuff was the Sasquatch head. And this tail, uh, which I don't know what this goes to. Uh, I didn't uh, didn't do my homework before this video today. But hey, if you guys know what it is, uh, let me know in the comments down below. It's not from the lizard build a figure wave. I know that because I already have that tail. Uh, I don't really uh, I don't recognize it. So enlighten me. Uh, we've also got uh, Matt from Rancho Viejo, Texas, uh, sent in this. Uh, Toy Biz uh, 1995, uh, translucent, fully invisible, invisible woman with her invisible force shield and rolling platform. Uh, it is unopened. It is on card. I wouldn't say that it is mint on card. Uh, I definitely had this way back in the day. That was uh, that was part of Collection 2.0. If you just saw uh, our recent video that we posted on I Sold My Collection, um, that was definitely a piece that uh, that I had. Build, build up that <laughs> collection. Uh, it wasn't a piece that I had bought multiples of. For, for this stuff, I was. it was mostly Star Wars that I was buying multiples of. Uh, this, I only had one, and I had my whole Fantastic Four set. I had the regular one, and I had this uh, translucent one, uh, and I will most likely... It's hard. Uh, 
Matt said in his note that he kind of wanted to open it, but decided he would let me have the joy of doing that. And I'm going to be honest, I don't know if I want to open it. Uh, look at this cool foil packaging up here. Uh, I do have a little bin that has stuff that's, you know, staying in the package unopened. So I don't know. I'm not going to, I'm not going to pull the trigger on uh, opening that right now. Uh, after that, uh, we're going to go with um, E. E, that's what the envelope said. E from Brooklyn, New York. I don't know if that's an abbreviation or if he's like Prince she i don't know <laughs> uh but uh that's that's what the envelope said uh sent in these uh ninja turtles patches i'm guessing these are custom made these don't feel they don't look uh officially licensed and there are some uh there are some errors so teenage muta turtles uh and then we've got Raphael, we've got donatello we've got michelangelo uh, and then we've got the big, uh, this will, this will go on the back of my jacket, uh, or maybe my, or maybe a satchel of some sort, uh, iron on, but I would rather have it stitched on. But hey, that's looking good, and I appreciate, uh, the thought. I'm not a huge Turtles guy, uh, but these look pretty fun. I don't know, maybe I can, I wish, I, I, no, my nephews aren't really into, like, Turtles, uh, especially this era of Turtles. That's not a thing I would be able to, to hook them up with, but... We'll find something to do with those. Uh, I do appreciate you sending those in. All, in addition to that, uh, E also sent in uh, a smattering of Creo guys here. We've got uh, this one, one of the cone heads. I can't remember if this is... I think this is Ramjet. I'm not 100% positive. It's either Ramjet or... Uh, it's not... It's either Ramjet, Thrust, or Dirge. I can never remember which one is which. Uh, e even back then, when th with the G1 releases, I remember thinking like, "This is a scam." <laughs> now you're just re-releasing the the Seeker molds, and I'm I'm not falling for that. Uh, and then we've got uh, GI Joe, Star Trek, and then I don't know who these two dudes are. Just a couple of uh, biker-looking guys. I don't even think they're Creo, but I don't know for sure. Uh, more interestingly than those unknown Barker biker guys uh, we've got the uh, classic burger king frankenstein uh he's semi-translucent his head and his hands um i don't know for sure if he is glow in the dark or not i'm gonna go with no <laughs> but uh that's cool i definitely have uh i have the burger king dracula so i think i have the dracula creature and wolfman maybe this might this might complete the set uh we've also got the um this i think this is a knockoff and uh the note that e included uh, suggested that he thought it might uh, also be a knockoff. Um, there is a Lucasfilm branded, uh, you know, usually has the, the stamp on it. Uh, they're from like 1986, 87, somewhere in that range. Uh, they look like junk, uh, but these were actually a set of Star Tours gift shop figures. Uh, but this one is so poorly molded uh, and so poorly painted that I think it actually is a knockoff. I can't be sure, though. Uh, and then here we've got the, um, this is from a brand called Porto Play. The line was called Military One. Uh, this is the sailor. There's like a pilot, an army guy, whatever. They're just like Star Wars, you know, adventure pe or adventure people kind of articulation. And uh, I think I actually do have one of these already. So this might be a duplicate for me. Um, we've got Snake from uh, Remco. Remco put out a line of the bad guys, and if you've never seen the card on uh, card art on that, you definitely want to check those out. Just Google the bad guys from Remco. Uh, the front of it looks straight up like Cobra Kai. It's like black with a big yellow snake all over it, uh, and then they basically set out a they, they produced a set of bad guys uh, that were meant to be paired up with their Sergeant Rock line or Mash figures or GI Joe. All the mini all the three and three quarter inch mini figures that uh, were like army characters that needed somebody to fight against you. It's a bold move to just make a generic set of bad guys uh, and sort of cash in on everybody else's popularity and throw these guys out there. These guys probably cost like a buck or two, where G.I. Joe guys were more like, you know, four or five bucks. I don't remember what they go for. Um, but, uh, oh, and uh, I almost missed this piece. Uh, last but not least, uh, E also sent in this uh, Toys R Us exclusive uh, Super 7 Reaction Funko uh, Toys R Us exclusive Predator Thermal Vision figure. That's cool. It's, I think, I lose track of this stuff. Uh, I think this is the only Predator I have. Yeah, I definitely, I want to get the stealth one. I always wanted to, but I didn't want to drop 10 bucks on it. Um, I have an alien, so yeah, I need to get that clear one. Um, but this is a cool piece. Thank you very much for that. Uh, a couple of quick recent acquisitions before I get to the last piece. Uh, I recently picked up this uh, 
Disney store exclusive toy box line, uh, Jack Skellington. He came with zero. Uh, I didn't know these were being released until I saw somebody post them on Instagram. And then I was like, I got to go to the Disney store. Um, they're cool. I don't, as much as I love this line, I, I grabbed it because Mrs. Toy Galaxy and I love uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, uh, love Halloween, love Christmas stuff. So I had to get these. Um, I don't love, not all characters look great squeezed through that lens of, through that filter of the toy box line. And I, I feel like Jack, I don't love it. Um, I dig it. It'll be in our Halloween display, but uh, I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sold on the, on the interpretation. And I didn't love the, uh, the infinity Disney infinity statue of Jack Skellington either, but Hey, you know what? I bought it anyway. Uh, over here, just after the trailer broke for Shazam, I was at a local comic shop and uh, they had uh, this uh, DC Collectibles, Shazam, Captain Marvel, call them whatever you want, from the uh, animated line that they did, I don't know, several years ago. Um, and while he is not the most poseable, there's no movement here, no waist, no ab crunch, no nothing. Um, he's got elbows and shoulders and stuff, and his head moves, and he's got a pretty heavy cape. But uh, I do like the look of this. I do love this animated styling, and I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Shazam, Captain Marvel fan. I got a little collection. I posted a picture of Instagram uh, on Instagram of my small collection of seven or eight Captain Marvel guys. Uh, and this one was, uh, it was brand new. It was in the package and uh, he, it was marked 20 bucks, but the package was all wrecked. And so he offered to sell it to me for 15. I said, sold. I'll take that all day long. And then we've also got uh, a couple of other recent acquisitions here. Uh, I've been eyeing these guys, these new Ben 10 figures for a while. How could I not? Uh, translucent stuff all over the place. Heat Blast just rolling out with his uh, jetpack and alt color scheme. It's hard to tell here, but he actually is translucent on his red parts and then all these blue parts as well. Uh, that, I was just like, all right, it's time to jump in. Uh, this guy, can't remember his name off the top of my head, but, I mean, whatever, right? Like, come on now. And then this dude, whose name I also can't remember off the top of my head. I have never really been a big... Uh, I haven't, I haven't even been a little Ben 10 uh, aficionado fan. Uh, there's a lot of characters. I have several other figures in my drawer uh, of different Ben 10 characters. Um, but I've, uh, I've, I've seen like two seconds of one episode of one show. So uh, I think it was on Netflix for a while. I don't know if it still is on Netflix, but it's definitely a series I need to check out. And it's definitely something that we'll cover here. Uh, we'll do a history of it at some point, and that'll get me up to speed, and I'll probably end up watching all... 10 years of it or whatever it is and hunting down all the figures that are uh, translucent because they are awesome all right and lastly i want to come over here to this piece a little while back uh grant from east utica new york uh sent in this uh adorable custom dan larson from toy galaxy minifigure complete with uh alternate heads bearded and unbearded i'm going to take the bearded head out of his hand for a second because grant uh, after after I posted a picture of it on Instagram, uh, he noted that uh, several people had commented, suggested that perhaps there should be a uh, mini Toy Galaxy diorama set. Uh, and he took that under advisement and went ahead and created one and sent it in. And I am blown away by how absolutely adorable and accurate uh, this thing is. I'm going to bring it down here a little bit. So you can really appreciate this thing up close. Uh, I, I don't even know what to say about this thing. He recreated the walls. There's all kinds of, you know, action figure related props and toys and stuff. Uh, we've got the camera. We've got the, uh, this is this is my laser tag helmet that's always there. The drawers that have uh, action figure stuff in it. Uh, like I said, he's got the camera set up. This is where the teleprompter would be. All it's missing is uh, producer Greg standing right about here. Right about here. Uh, he's usually uh, keeping an eye on the teleprompter and making sure that it doesn't get too far ahead of me. This is an amazing thing. I, I always appreciate the stuff that people send in and the thought that they take uh, to, to put things... Uh, just, just put it in a box and send to me. I really genuinely appreciate that. Uh, but to have taken this extra step of not only creating the minifigure, but uh, making this whole diorama, that's... That's incredibly, it's incredibly touching, and I thank you very much, Grant. Thanks again to Colton, Mark, Andrew, Brady, Matt, E, and Grant for sending all this stuff, uh, sending all this stuff into us. Thank you very much for watching. Later. <laughs>